Coach, what do you take away from a win like this? Find a way to make it interesting, <laughs> for sure. Uh, love the way that the guys battled and competed. We played good in stretches. We didn't play so well in others. Uh, some of that's on us, and some of that's the other team. Uh, so, you know, coming down here and, and playing in this type of environment against uh, uh, talent like that, the coaches they have, feel really you know, excited for our team and you know, we are, where we can improve because we still got a lot of room for improvement, but uh, just love the way they competed. Coach, a lot of your outside linebackers were sidelined today. What can you say about the guys that stepped in for them? Played really hard. Uh, didn't play great at all times, I mean, but I really you know, kind of goes to show you. I mean, Nick Alfton was playing tight end last week and played outside linebacker in about a month and played essentially the entire game. You know, Braxton Croto uh, hadn't played a whole lot. But all those guys just battle. So, you know, Brandon Smith played at nickel, O line. I mean, it's kind of where we're at right now. So, the guys who were banged up, we got to work to get healthy. And then these other guys got to keep crawling with the reps again. With his 22 tackles, what does Evan Weaver mean to the defense and to the team? Make, make 22 tackles. It's, it's like that every week. Hmm. I mean, when's the last time we haven't sat in here and talked about Weaver that way? He makes a lot of tackles every single week. And he's a really good football player. Uh, he'll have things that he's got to clean up, but you know, it's uh, every week. It's just production out of that guy. So you know, it seemed like we've become accustomed to it, but we're a little spoiled that way. We, we've got to continue to grow the other guys. And maybe they can steal one or two from him. <laughs> it seemed like in the third quarter, both sides of the ball got clicking at the same time. What was the message at halftime or any adjustments that were made? Yeah, I mean, I, that stuff. We, we talked about some things schematically, for sure, on both sides, but really just a matter of execution. You know, I think sometimes the, I think it's a little bit overstated, but uh, the offense came out with a great drive together. Some big plays in there, guys making plays on both sides. And defense got a couple three and outs back to back. But the middle of the game, the second and third quarters, uh, defensively played better, but the first and fourth weren't so good. So got to improve there. For the first time this year, the running game didn't really get going. What was, what was happening? Uh, things that we could have done better and some of it's the fronts they were playing and the, the guys they have playing to be honest so some tough sledding against uh, some of those zone schemes with, with the guys they got in there and the fronts they're playing so we knew coming in uh, you know we'd have to get some tough yards and the guys did and I thought you know again the way they play we'd have to take advantage of some of the passing game and chase and the receivers and tight ends did a really nice job of that. We didn't see a lot of whole procedural penalties or drop passes. How important is that in a game that's this close? Playing clean football, you got to do that to, to play well. So took a step in the uh, right direction that way. Uh, there's some more execution things that we're going to see on tape. we got to work on but Yeah, it's great. It's hard to, when you get behind, especially on offense, you know, you get a holding or a false start in this thing. It, it's tough to, to make those up. Coming in, there's a lot of factors, especially offensively, that people were talking about before the game, but you guys came in and made it look easy, especially in the passing game. Did you guys do anything different this morning to... Yeah, it's not easy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> not easy, no matter who you're playing against. But I I thought the guys uh, played confident uh, at, at all levels, whether it's protection. And again, you know, there's some tough times, matchups in there, uh, some of the pass rush, but guys running the routes, attacking the ball, and I thought Chase, not even close, uh, that's his best game by far, and he played confident. He had one throw on the pick that I'm sure he'd like to have back, and maybe another one, but man, I thought he just played awesome. Really proud of him. This obviously means a lot for Cal, but what does this mean for the conference in general, especially beating, you know, as I nice really have a, I mean, that's, that's your job, you know. <laughs> we're trying to, we know it's a great opponent. We know the type of conference SEC is, but we stay out of the, you know, this conference versus that conference. We're just worried about coming down here and playing well, and now we're, get home, get healthy as we can, and get ready for Arizona State. Having a big game on the road like this, is this something that a quarterback like Chase can build off of? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, just the, how comfortable he was and how confident he played and delivering it with authority. And uh, through some touch balls, through some, he drove some in there, and just it was awesome to see. So you know, all these experiences you learn from, and uh, he'll learn from this one, and it would be a lot of good. So that's a great thing. Can you talk a little bit about his ability to elude the pass rush? There were, yeah. seemed like there were seven or eight times he could have been tackled huge. for loss. I mean, it's huge, especially you know if you get some tough matchups in there and they win and drop back pass and getting out of some of those. And even if it's to get the ball back to the line of scrimmage to throw it away, you're not, you know, you're 
you're not losing six or seven, which is really tough to come back from. So he made a number of those today. And, uh, you know, it might not look like much then, but on the next down and the down after that, it, it's everything. So he did a really nice job of kind of knowing when to get out and knowing when to hang in, I thought. Uh, again, I thought he just took a, a, a huge leap today. Coach, you're 9-0 in non-conference games now. What's your secret? With I mean, we just, you could, I can make something up if you want, but <laughs> there is none. I, know it's, I don't tackle anybody. I don't throw the ball. I don't run. Our players and our coaches prepared them, did a great job, and I love how our players compete, and that's what it's really about. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. What was it like having so many Cal fans in the stands in an environment? Awesome. I want to take a second just tell all those Cal fans, thank you so much. And you felt them on the field, and it's a great environment. Ole Miss is a fantastic place to, to come and be a part of a game, and we appreciate that for sure. But really, thank you to all the, the Bears out there, because they showed up from the West Coast and the East Coast and everywhere in between, and probably some from different continents. So thank you to them, because uh, we felt them today, and really appreciate them coming out to support the team. You guys all good?